<laughs> look at all this lot. Looks pretty technical, but really it isn't. All of these light sets, and there's four of them here, are built around the same sort of clip and USB sort of power source. So if we just take those ones off, you can see they've got a really strong crocodile clip, some little bendy pipes, and then four lights on there. All the rest are the same, but they have different sort of lighting effects. So for example, this one, if we switch it on, you'll be able to see that that one is just a pure white light. That one's classed as daylight. Great for anything leafy, not so good for things that are producing fruit. In a similar way, we've got like a, a much more intense version of that. Here, they've got more LEDs. And if I switch that one on, you can probably tell that that one is quite a lot brighter. Great for leafy stuff, you know, like kale, lettuce, uh, pak choy, all that sort of stuff. Not so good for tomatoes and also strawberries. You know, anything that produces a fruit, not so good for that. But the next set of four lights, you can see that's very different. That one has got like a bluey, pinky sort of tinge to it. And this one is classed as, well, the mark at them is like full spectrum, but it's basically like a red and blue light. Can also be changed a bit as well. So we have a daylight spectrum with that one. So we've got the white light, we've got the blue light, and we've got the red light all on together there. If we click it again, we've just got the white light, so that's daylight. Obviously, it's not as bright as the dedicated daylight um, lights because it, it just hasn't got as many LEDs. If we click it again, it goes back to the red and blue. So many choices. <laughs> and then we've got the last one here which again will look very pink because it's a mixture of red and blue. Anything with red and blue in is very good for fruiting veg, like your tomatoes, just anything that produces fruit basically. And again, that one is adjustable. In fact, all these things are adjustable. So click that, it goes just to blue. And to be honest, I've never seen the point in that particular setting or it goes just to red. So if you have some tomatoes and they're growing really well and you just want to concentrate on getting those fruits ripened up, you might just go all red or you could go back to the mix. There's so many different choices with these things. And to be honest, it's a bit of a minefield when you're buying them. And you don't even know how many watts they are. Some of the listings on eBay and Amazon say that the 5 watts, some say the 20 watts, some say the 15, 60, 80. And really, I have no idea which one of those statements is true. I think that each tube or each light is around about 15 watts. So I'm thinking between 60 and 80 watts is about right for each one of these sets of four lights but I could be totally wrong on that. They definitely do work and they definitely do vary wildly in price. So as far as which ones I use, I tend to use these ones. These ones are the brightest because they've got the most LEDs. They're classed as a daylight spectrum. So I use them on my vertical growing systems where I only tend to grow leafy veg, which would be Lettuce, pak choy, well that's about it really. Just various forms of lettuce and pak choy. <laughs> Anything with a big green leaf, that does really well. And if you want the, the longer version of those lights, then the daylight version of those ones would be what you choose. They're pretty much the same price. I 
sometimes do use the colored lights you know this one and this one but I would tend to mix that up with those lights so you get like a full spectrum light where are we <laughs> I've got so many buttons here from that and you get the pinky light from your full spectrum light so you get like a full daylight spectrum and then what's classed as a full spectrum which has also got the red and the blue in so if you've got tomatoes mixing these two different lights is probably a good idea that's worked very well for me in the past we're getting towards the end of March now and I think we've passed the March equinox so we should have longer days than nights natural sunlight is always the best but as a supplementary light any of these are a good choice for leafy veg I would say just go for the the white sunlight full spectrum well it's marketed as full spectrum but basically the white lights like that or that and if you're looking to produce anything other than leafy veg then something with a little bit of red in it would probably be the way to go especially for tomatoes but to be honest in the UK especially where I am in the northeast of the UK you've really got to wait until the weather's warm enough even in your greenhouse to be able to grow tomatoes and by then the Sun is producing most of the light and most of the, the frequency that the plants need these are really just supplementary lights to grow things through the winter now I will put links to all of these if I can find them in the video description and also in the pinned comment and I'll just leave you by saying if you're just looking to grow a leafy veg go for the brightest whitest light you possibly can if you're looking to produce fruit go for the ones with a little bit of red in the spectrum you know like a pinky sort of a light ideally mix the two in a perfect world we'd grow everything under sunlight sometimes that isn't possible and these things don't use much electric they're simple to set up that clip is really strong if you've watched any of my previous videos you've probably seen multiple sets of these on my vertical grown towers I've got them clipped on the top and they just basically provide the light that the plant needs in the winter they're a really good option <laughs> thanks for watching I'll see you next time